Okay, everybody, welcome to today's video. I'm going to talk about the Uconnect 8.4 wide bricks and how to fix it. So basically what happens is that if you're installing a software to a more modern software, but the software before isn't compatible with the software that you're going to update to, that's when it bricks. So basically what I'm saying is that some softwares might need a software in between the software version you're going to to the software version that you want. And because it has that gap, for whatever reason, your software or your unit's going to end up bricking. And what I mean by bricking is that I'm just rebooting it right now. You get that screen of death when you start doing the update, but don't be too concerned about that. Is that your unit will be stuck in an endless loop mode. So basically, it'll go so far. So you see on the screen right now, i got the total count three, 98%, 100%, and it's going to reboot. And that's when it's going to actually start the total unit count, which will be 15 different modules that it's going to install in the stereo. But it's not going to get past the bootloader, at least not for me. And then it's going to reset and start the process over. So right now, a pre-installation of the ISO copy to the MMC. And there's 15 units, like I said. But we're going to get to like number four. And it's going to go that far. And it's going to load that. And then it's going to reset and then it's going to black out and then it's going to start the whole process over again. It's going to be stuck in this loop forever and you're never going to be able to get out. And how you fix that is trying either newer software or an older software. So right here it says insert update USB. So I stuck in a USB with a more modern software than what I'm trying to install. So I'm waiting the two to five minutes again. And it's going to go to the screen where we're going to start updating again. And fingers crossed that this is going to work. Because otherwise, you're going to be buying a new stereo and you're not going to be happy. So, as you see right here in this screen, we passed the bootloader. We're on update number five. Everything is looking good. Update 15, 100%. We got it in. And then it's going to reboot. It's booting up. The new software is installed. I got the new software with the apps button, which the old software didn't. And I go to my display because I tried to go in from 15 something to like 1711, I think it was. Now I'm at 1743. And currently I'm on 18.45. But this is how you fix it. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.